Hello again, everyone. Uh, we just started doing some question and answer sessions, and I just saw a question that was related to some of the videos I've done before, and I wanted to kind of just cover this question and help the person out. So uh, the question I have is, our next project is going to start using MPO connectors. Can you tell me how to scope and clean them? Well. MPOs can be very complex, right? And so you'll also hear the term MTP. Uh, MPO means multi-fiber push-on, pull-off. Uh, it's a multi-fiber connector that has, again, typically 12 fibers in a connector. We do have them in 24s, 8s, 16s, 32s. Uh, and you can see here, I've got a little, little light here that'll show you. If you want to see here, if you can see that right there, um, those are your 12 fibers all lit up. And so, there's a lot that can be done on MPO um, videos. You know, there's a lot of stuff to understand. But let's do the most basic, and that's cleanliness and microscoping. So um, let's talk about the cleanliness. We've all kind of gotten used to the fact that uh, we have these one-click cleaners. Well, I grabbed one of these out of stock. They do make a one-click cleaner for the MPO connector. So it's going to clean all 12 fibers at once. All we do is you have to mine the key, and you put the key in right, and you one click and it'll clean the male and female versions of this connector. And uh, it's a really handy, handy tool to use. Now, again, as I've said in the past, if it's some hard on, stuck on dirt, uh, we might want to go to a wet clean and we can just clean the end faces uh, with a wipe and some alcohol or pre-saturated wipe. Uh, but it's really, really critical that we keep these clean. I know it's cleanliness is kind of always an issue, but with this having 12 different fibers, and so the single mode one is an angle that has 12, so that angle's end face is to reduce reflection, and reflections increase when we're dirty, so it's really critical that we clean these. Now for microscoping, there's a lot of different options out there. Um, I know Expo has one that we use. Uh, we sell a couple different. I'd like to show them to you on the screen there. Uh, basically, that allows us to view all of those connectors at once. And uh, when we use that in conjunction with a probe, uh, it can actually do the end face analysis of each of those connectors too. So it's critical that we clean it and then follow it up with a microscope test. Um, my, 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 my biggest purchase, I guess, would be, or my first purchase, would definitely be the, the one-click cleaner. Now, the probes and uh, the adapters to do MPOs, those can get fairly expensive. One other thing, too, is you got to understand is if you're doing certification testing and they ask for an end face IEC test, you're going to have to have the probe because the handheld scope won't do that test, but the probes will. So if you have to do certification end face testing, you are going to need a probe. And like I said, we'll show some of those on the videos on this video uh, for you guys to look at. So thank you again. Check out our channel and hit the subscribe button for new videos.